Dr. Billy Thompson from Major Crime Investigation Branch. Major Crime Investigation Branch are now treating the death of 45-year-old Manam man, Adrian Trett, as a homicide. Adrian was found unconscious on David Street, Manham, at about 7 a.m. on Monday the 23rd of April this year. He never gained, regained consciousness and he died in the Royal Adelaide Hospital on the 5th of May. Adrian was found alongside his scooter and he had suffered a serious head injury. The circumstances surrounding how Adrian came to be in David Street with those injuries have been the subject of investigations with the deaths initially being treated as unexplained and that death was being investigated uh, by Murray Bridge CIB and Major Crime Investigation Branch. We're still in the processes of investigating the full circumstances of this matter. And what is unclear to us is where and when Adrian sustained his injuries. We do know in the lead up to him being found in David Street that he was at a house at Asma Street in Manham and he had been there for several days prior to him being discovered in David Street. Our inquiries are focusing on how um, Adrian sustained his injuries and how he ended up being found unconscious in David Street. We believe that members of the public have information that can help us. Today we've released images of Mr. Trett's scooter and also images of blankets that he was found wrapped in. We also have information from witnesses that at around 6.25 a.m. on the 23rd of April, a number of persons believed to be three were seen around the area where Adrian was, in fact, next to Adrian. And we believe that these people may have been wrapping blankets around Adrian at that time. So we're appealing to the public and those three people in particular to come forward. What we really need to know is how Adrian sustained his injuries, how did he get to David Street, how did he become wrapped in those blankets that we've released today, where did those blankets in fact come from and who the three people were that were standing next to Adrian at that time. So we appeal to anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 or you can do that through the website and that can be anonymous. I'll take some questions. Has anything changed that causes you to now treat this as a homicide since it was found at the scene? Um, right from the beginning we were trying to investigate a reason why he sustained these injuries. Um, we haven't been able to find any evidence to conclusively show us how those injuries have been sustained and therefore we're treating that in itself as being suspicious. Have you interviewed any suspects or people of interest? We have interviewed a number of people um, that were known to Adrian and in fact um, resided with him um, and they have given us an account. And you spoke to the police, you mentioned you visited a address nearby just moments before, have you spoken with them? Have we spoken to people in the Asmus Street area yeah, where we believe that uh, Adrian was um, in the hours and days prior to being found in David Street. Was he living in that? Uh, we, we believe so, yes. Right. Did he have any family? Um, Adrian was, uh, was previously married. He had two grown-up children, and, uh, but he's uh, estranged from his wife. Did the injured police sustain what you believe is, is a murder? Uh, we are investigating the circumstances as a homicide. Um, so to be able to say whether it's a murder or a manslaughter is difficult at this stage because we're still investigating and we still need to find out some more information which is part of the appeal today because we really need the help from the public to answer some of the questions that uh, we have. As far as you're aware, what were his movements before um, him being found and who were the last people to see him as far as you were aware? Um, we believe that he was at a, a residential address in Asmus Street with other people. Those people have been spoken to and have given an account of um, what they were doing in the lead up to that. Um, we believe that they were um, socially engaged, having a few drinks, um, so sort of normal routine. Um, that's as much information as we've got at this stage. Having drinks overnight before the morning Adrian was found, or had there been a party at the house? Uh, we just believe that they had been socially engaged, yes, and had consumed some drinks. Do you have any specific suspects at this stage? 
and um, we have a number of people that we have spoken to and those people are persons of interest to us um, but we're particularly interested in speaking to the three people that were seen next to Adrian on the morning that he was discovered because they'll hold crucial information as to um, you know how he got there how he became wrapped in those blankets um, and that's critical to our investigation is there a chance you've already spoken to those there is a chance, yes, and some of those people may not have been truthful in their accounts about uh, being in that vicinity, and if that's the case, we'd urge them to be truthful and come forward and speak to us, or in fact, if they know of others who have not been truthful, to contact police through the Crime Stoppers. Do you think he may have sustained those injuries elsewhere and then was moved to Davis Street? That's quite possible, yes. Is, that, is it probable, or are you not sure? We're not sure. It's a line of inquiry that we're looking at, that the injuries could have been sustained elsewhere or could have been sustained there um, but as I said the, the lack of evidence to show us actually what those injuries were caused by and where is what we're asking the public to help with. And do you think he was physically moved from wherever he sustained these injuries to David Street by someone or do you think he's got himself there? Um, it could be either scenario but the fact that he's the way that he was wrapped in the blankets would lead us to believe that it was quite difficult to do that yourself and therefore, it's sort of critical that we speak to those people who were seen next to him. Do you think he was he bashed with an object? What are his injuries? He had a sustained a serious head injury. Um, we don't know what has caused that. Other questions? Is there any explanation as to why the trooper said that why would people be wrapping someone in blankets and leaving them on the side of the road? Well, I guess you could um, look at the, the least sinister scenario that it could be a good Samaritan thinking that he's perhaps drunk, cold, needs wrapped up. Um, or it could be more sinister than that. We have been in regular contact with um, the next of kin and his ex-wife, yes. Was, was he a long-time resident in Manor? You said he, he was at the Aston Street home for days leading up to it, but he'd been in the area for, for a yeah, long Yeah, we believe Adrian had been in the Manor area for several months, and prior to that had uh, been from the southern suburbs of Adelaide.